Timmy, where have you been? I haven't seen you in days. I've been busy. Busy missing school, apparently. I've been talking to this guy about cooking. Cooking? Yeah, he's this celebrity chef guy or something. Look. What? How? Where did you get all of this? Sucking dick. I'm kidding. I found it. I've been working on getting myself money to pay Francisco. Francisco? Who's Francisco? The celebrity chef guy. I also have a couple hundred back at the house. How much is it? Ten grand. I've counted. What the... fuck? He wants to fly me out to Oregon. Oregon? Timmy, what the hell? Hey, I was scared about leaving the country too. But Francisco assured me everything was fine. Come inside. Yeah, that's what I came here for. Jesus, have I missed you. Timmy, stop. What the hell is going on? Uh, I told you! This Francisco guy has this cooking thing going on in Oregon. Wanted to fly me out there. No. No. I don't... Why... I don't want you flying out to Oregon. Why? I don't want you getting hurt. Why do you care? It's just sex, right? So, stop worrying and just make it about sex. Do your parents know? About us? About you leaving? I don't see why they would need to know. Timmy, look at me. I'm being serious. And I'm not? <laughs> I've just been floating by. For so long, I finally feel a, a sense of purpose. Your purpose should be finishing school, Timmy. Not, not this. <laughs> school? I don't need no school, Morgan. How long is this cooking thing, anyway? Like, a little over a month. Timmy, this is insane. You'll drive your parents crazy. You'll be kicked out of the school system. There's nothing for you to worry about, Morgan. Just forget it. Now, why don't you and, and I... <laughs> I haven't seen you in days. Yeah? Timmy, just... <sighs> Please, just listen to me. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Come on. Hey, Dudley. Nice table prop. Oh, thanks. A student got it for me. <laughs> Let's go. You're gonna need to help me bury him. Okay, if you're gonna talk about dead people while having sex with me, I'm like 70% more into this. <laughs> Well, thanks for helping me move into my apartment. Hey, you're welcome. My totally high-end apartment with an amazing view. The girls are gonna be jealous. At least you have your own place to burn down. <laughs> are you saying I should run for the insurance? <laughs> move 50-inch TV into my house and I won't say a thing. I'd be lucky to make a profit. 
you can probably get a good flame going with that couch. But after all that lifting, shit, two TVs to keep me silent. Well, I gotta get to class in 20 minutes, so see ya. Hey, Chris? Yeah? Do you wanna, like, hang out sometime? Hang out? Sure. Hey, Tom, are you busy? Um, I'm getting ready for work. Why? So, Carol's gone back home, and all the kids are gone. Yeah, I guess they are. So, I was thinking maybe we could... What? Well, you haven't slept with me since before the wedding. Well, I... Is there something wrong with me? Olivia, no. Then what is it? Why the hell have you been pushing me away? I just... You just what? You've been acting very strange since Thursday. You're one to talk. You have got to be kidding me. Olivia, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I have no clue what the hell is going on with you, but grow the fuck up. We're married, Tom. Don't keep secrets from me. There are no secrets, Olivia. <sighs> I'm gonna go edit the wedding video. Wedding video? Maggie dropped off the files from the wedding. Oh. Nice. Yeah. I'm gonna go get this bread. Love you. So I was thinking that after school, maybe we could... Laura, are you listening to me? That hall monitor, he's watching me. What does he want with you? How should I know? So anyway, I was thinking, maybe you'd want to come to my house this weekend? Your house? I'd rather shoot myself. Hey, my house is awesome! Laura, where are you going? You can't walk out of class. What if the teacher sees you? You got a problem, bitch? What? No, I don't have a problem. Really? Don't act like I don't see you staring at me. You pose a bitch. I'm sorry, I'm just curious. Curious of what? Is it really true? Have you really been doing that around the school? <laughs> what? Oh my god. I'm so disgusted. I can't even believe this is actually a question. Of course I am. Oh my gosh, really? That's... that's... I don't know. Would you like to meet up after school? You know, for after school study? Whatever. Laura, I don't think we're allowed to do that. Shut up! Timmy! Timmy! <laughs> How you doing, kid? God, I got a hold of you. Can we talk? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, what do you need? Timmy, you know, I've been friends with your teacher, Ms. Williams, for, oh, jeez, a couple years now, right? Yeah, I... I guess. I also know that you've been doing tutoring with Morgan as well, is that correct? Am I ringing any bells? Tutoring Morgan? Uh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> there's some pretty fucked up things that I thought you could clear up. Uh... So I recently found out that Morgan has the secret lover and <laughs> Mr. Clark, that's not... I, I wouldn't know anything about that. Let me finish! So I started stalking Morgan and I found something at her house Friday. 
You see, apparently Morgan's secret lover is... Well... Her dead husband. Da da da. That'd be what you would hear in a murder movie. Oh. That. You knew about this? I mean, no, 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 not really. Are you saying that? Kind of makes sense. You see, Morgan or uh, Miss Williams would leave for these 12 minute intervals, and I'd say, wait, please, no, I really stumbled about this question about oxyclean, and she says, it'll just be one minute. It never is. And she's in the kitchen or I mean, wh whatever, and I just hear these pain filled grunts like, Ugh! Ugh! And I'm sitting there twiddling my fucking thumbs, thinking of what could be the chemical compounds to make up oxyclean. And I'm like, you know what? Can I just check the cheat sheet? Would she be alright if I check the cheat sheet, or would she come out with a ruler and start beating me with it? And then I just hear, and I'm like, what the fuck? Is she battling that fucking demon snake from hell? And Miss Williams is in there, and she's like, Ugh! Ugh! And I'm sitting there, and I'm thinking of OxyClean. It's all I can get through my head anymore. Everything out there is gone. I'm thinking of OxyClean so much, Billy Mays is gonna poof up and go, Hi, Billy Mays here! Take the squirt OxyClean bottle and start spraying the shit out of that demon snake from hell. Save Miss Williams. But... <laughs> I just know that's not gonna happen, and I'm beating my noggin with my pencil at this point, and I don't want to pry, but should I go in there and help her? I don't think Miss Williams can take on this demon snake by herself, so I'm sitting there and I'm, and I'm scared because if Miss Williams can't take on that demon snake from hell, what, what if it kills her, and then it comes out of here and eats me, and I'm thinking of the fucking chemical compounds that make up oxyclean. Jesus. Yeah. I guess it never was a giant snake demon from hell after all. Just Miss Williams. Battling a different kind of snake. Ugh. I suppose the scariest part is, if I were to have gone in there and helped her, I'd have gotten nothing but an eyeful of corpse cock and balls. Wait, do corpses even have genitalia? Or does that stuff just decompose away? We'll have to ask Miss Williams. She knows. Oh, this is like really bad, Timmy. Jesus. That Sex and the City murder mystery episode all over again. Yeah, necrophilia is a horrible thing. I was hoping you could maybe, you know, sneak in a little question about that. Your next tutoring sesh. Actually, Mr. Clark, no. What do you mean, no? I mean, no, there's not going to be another one. I'm leaving this bitch. Timmy, this is your last year. Listen, kid. You can't quit now. <laughs> I think it's a good joke. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I don't actually care if you kill yourself. Good luck, kid. I need to get some money for lunch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you just, uh, whatever. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, thanks. Go fuck yourself. Hey, Mr. Gonzalez! Mr. Clark? You need any help? Give me your lunch money, faggot! Wait, Charles! Just kidding. No, I mean all of it. Empty your wallet. Screw you. <laughs> thanks! <laughs> yeah. Fucking bitch. Gonna run the school one day. God, that guy's a complete fucking retard. <sighs> well, shit. Police get involved. Gotta work on a real alibi. Well, somebody had a lot of fun at the show today. Wow! Thank you, Jordan. Hey, you're welcome. And Claire, guess what I got in the mail today? What? The DNA test. DNA really? Test? Oh my god! Open it! Well, no. There's something I need to show you first. Show me something? What? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Is there any way that you can make my skirt lift up while I'm walking around the gym? 
And how would I do that, Becky? I don't know. You're the coordinator. Becky, this is getting too expensive. Shut up, Veronica. No one cares what you think. No one. Timmy, what are you doing here? Becky, can we talk? I'm a little busy planning my class president announcement. I only have this lunch block. It's kind of important. Fine. Veronica, get out of the camera. Okay, Becky. But my name is... I meant in private. Why do you want to talk in private? That's like not getting any attention. Like at all. That's right. Okay. Zip it, horse face. Who the hell is this girl? This is Valerie. Victoria. She's my right hand hooker. Valerie has Victoria. Shut up, bewitch. I'm glad this is finally happening. Believe it or not, you're the first to be on my list. List? It No! I, I don't want your crabs, Becky. Then what am I doing here? Like I said, I I need to talk to you. <sighs> About what? Stay away from my family. Excuse me? I can be wherever I- No! No, you can't! Yes, I can. No, you can't! Yes, I can! No, you can't! Yes, I can. <laughs> no, no, you can't! Just shut up. Yeah, what am, what am I doing? Being an idiot. I mean it, Becky. You say one word to my family. One. You even look at them? I'm gonna kill you. <gasps> you can't kill me, Timmy. I'm not a baby. That means it's illegal. I don't care. I'm not gonna listen to this. You watch your mouth, you bewitch. Keep it up. I'm sure the school would love to hear about you and Miss Williams. You watch your cold, sore, infected mouth. <laughs> Have a good day, Timmy. La 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 la. Oh my god, Becky, I just got off the phone with my dad. Why do I care? He said he'll be able to chip in $500 for the class president reveal. Oh my god! Could your dad be any cheaper? Uh, what? Look, I get it. You don't have all that money because your mom was accidentally pushed off that balcony. But you shoved her. Let's face it, you probably took half of that money to buy some more potato chips because your legs are huge. Are they? You need a lot of work done. A lot. But you're my best friend, Violet, so I'm gonna help you. Okay. And now come on, let's go offer moldy bread to homeless people. Wait, 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 wait. Throw... Throw what? At homeless people? You want to see me, sir? Tommy boy, take a seat. What did you need? I was just making sure you didn't put your dick in a blender after yesterday's events. No. No, I didn't put my dick in a blender. Now that I think about it, do I even have a blender? You should. That's how I'm able to make myself protein shakes every morning. Yeah, they've clearly been working for you. Do I detect sarcasm? No, no, I'm, I'm admiring your physique. Those protein shakes have really worked a charm on you. Worked a charm on your ass, too. I mean, I'm not gay, but if I was- Huh. Speaking of ass, I had a follow-up on Gale after you left yesterday. How'd that go? You tapped that? No. No, she slapped me. I'm sorry, sir. Don't be. I got a whiff of her fingers as her hand ran across my face. I got the mildest aroma of... Musk. Oh. I immediately came to the realization that she has been fingering herself at her desk during office hours. 
Okay. You're not going to blackmail her into sleeping with you, are you? What? Who do you think I am, Abrams? Kinda a pervert. No, I am not. And I'm not blackmailing anyone either. I plan on having maintenance installing a camera above her desk. Okay. When are you going to let me fuck your wife? Wait, uh, I'm sorry. I, I zoned out for a second. Did you actually just say what I thought you just said? I asked, when are you going to allow me to? Okay, so you did ask when I'd let you plow my wife. Yes. Why? Don't worry. I'd let you fuck my wife as well. No one loses in this scenario. It would be a wife swap. What would I win with your wife? I don't know. I'd win the lottery with yours, though. <sighs> Thomas, what's the matter? You've been all down and pissy lately. Had I not known better, I'd have mistaken you for a 15-year-old girl. I am not being pissy. Yes, you are. Please lay a towel down so you're not bleeding directly onto my chair, Tommy. Would you stop? I've been having a bad week. I'm sorry to hear that. Would you like to talk about it, Tommy? I was... <sighs> I was doing so well. So well with my old lady. The kids, with work, the liquor, drugs. Then I... I fucked it up as usual. Oh, this is a serious conversation? Why don't you just talk this through with the water cooler gang? We don't have a water cooler. You have a sink, don't you? It's hard. Hard to balance all of this when the guilt. I feel like everything, every last thing I've tried to build for the past few months crumbled in that courtroom. I feel weak. I feel empty. I don't even... I don't even feel anything anymore. Guilt. Failure. Maybe. The only time I feel something is when I'm six ounces deep in my fifth bottle. <sighs> at least you have a wife to look at. Please don't change the subject with ugly wife jokes. I'm not joking. Had I been, I would have said there was too much to look at. She's fat. Are you having a problem at home? <sighs> Mallory won't even talk to me anymore. I think firing her was the final nail in this coffin of a failed marriage, Tom. Oh. I didn't realize things had gotten that bad between the two of you. You know how uncomfortable it is to sleep on a couch, Tom? Sadly, I do. A chicken bone was sticking out of one of the folds and almost punctured my asshole as I rolled over in my slumber. That sounds awful. Who the hell hides chicken bones on a couch anyway? It was probably you, sir. It probably was me. <sighs> I don't know what to do, Thomas. I don't... How do you do it? How do I do what? How do you kiss your wife goodbye? And no, she's not hoping it's the last. Wait. One more. Just let me hear it one more time. Would you stop? Just say it one more time. Oh my god, I want to drop out of school. And when is your last day? Today. Today will be my last day. I can't tell you how long I've waited for those words to come out of your mouth, Mr. Abrams. I would tell you all that baloney about how finishing school to get your diploma is so important, yada yada yada. But I'm not going to. Good, because I don't want to hear it. Well, let's not keep you here any longer than you have to be. Let's get this paperwork filled out.
Okay. You have parental consent, correct? Uh... We can always just say you did. Your parents are fucked up. We can just blame it on your drunk father. <laughs> you know, Andy, from all my time here, that's the first time I've ever agreed with you. Sign here, here, and here. Sign here and here. <sighs> okay. So that's that. Time to prepare for the future! I'm embarrassed. Get out of my office. You guys really need to learn how to clean up after yourselves. This house is a darn mess. Well, look who finally decided to show up. Where the hell have you been all day? Talking with your girlfriend. Girlfriend? Wait, Chris, come here. In here. Let's talk. All right now, what the fuck's the problem? I still don't know why the hell you... I can explain. Camilla's a woman, man. She her own decisions. I thought you weren't choosing sides. Of course I'm choosing sides. I thought you were having the same problem as... But Camilla was the victim, not you. Just... drop it, Chris. I've already talked with Camilla. It's... This isn't about Camilla, is it? What? Of, of course. This is about you. What the hell are you talking about? You knew I wouldn't fuck with Camilla. What? Camilla is your brook. Now, what does that even mean? Back in high school, I continued to date brook, like, like a, like a shield, so no one would think I was gay. Did anyone think you were? I don't think anyone had a clue. Well, say if I am, what would happen if I told everyone? Would they laugh at me? <laughs> no one's gonna laugh at you. Did anyone laugh at you? I mean, my whole family did. No shit? Yeah? Well, I might maybe be... See? I'm not laughing. Asshole. <sighs> I... shit. I did. Such a douche move, didn't I? Yeah. You're not the only one. Huh? My best friend Brooke. I really fucked that up. You should talk to her. I'm going to. I just need... <sighs> no time like the present. Wait, Chris. Do, do, you want to hold off on that until tomorrow? Why? All right. My ex-wife, Maggie, what she used to always say is that marriage is like a puzzle. A puzzle? Yes. You have to make sure that the two starter pieces are bound together before more pieces can be added. Wait, why are we talking about puzzles? I thought you were helping me with... You and Mallory are the two puzzle pieces. I don't give a monkey's taint about puzzles, Thomas. I need help with... <sighs> what is something you've desired in this marriage for a while? Anything? Yes. Well, a blowjob would be nice. Okay. A blowjob. And what is your wife always asking for? I don't... She's always begging me to see her parents. Alright. A trip with the in-laws for a blowjob. Sound fair? No. Oh my god. Think of something else. I need your help on this, Tom. 
Ugh. Okay. You ever try foreplay? I'm telling you, Charles, that was the best movie I've seen in a while. I don't give a shit. It just shows you don't care about the movies we've watched together. You traitor bitch. That is not what it means, Charles. If it makes you feel better, I thought it was a good movie too. Yeah, it was awesome. Ugh. So you know Morgan's fucking her dead husband, right? <laughs> what? Yep, he's been at her like a horse. Fell right on me. Like a horse. <laughs> like, you know, like a dead body. Falls out of a closet. That happened to me. Uh, literally, that happened to me. Wait, Charles, are you serious right now? I don't lie, Alex! W well, I... Do we talk to her about this? Like an intervention? That might... Yeah, that might work. Oh, intervention. Huh. I mean, I thought we could laugh at her, you know? <laughs> make her feel really uncomfortable. Charles, we have to make her as comfortable as possible. Ugh, fine. Jesus. You guys are a bunch of pussies. All right, then. I guess we should get prepared, then. I've probably spent more time here than my own house this week. That's only because I have the cool house. You are the best tutor. Damn right. Say, while we're on the subject of... this house... Uh, something's been scratching at my noggin all day. So, uh... Does... Does Dudley have a penis? Why? I mean, uh... The... The body decomposes and shit. Dudley died recently and, well, I, I don't know if you've grabbed a detective's hat and a magnifying glass and done an investigation down there or anything, but... What? Duh, duh, duh. Does he have a dick? You know what? It's fine. You're looking at me like I'm crazy. Just something I've been thinking about all day, okay? That being your late husband's dick. I thought we could do some more of those video game things. I think I'm becoming a video game man now. You have all the time in the world to play games. No, I don't. But if you're leaving on... Thursday. Thursday. Fuck. That's tomorrow. Timmy, let's just make these last hours romantic, okay? I guess. Sounds... Boring. So, let's see. We could do a two-player game. That's romantic. No? Just shut up and do what I want, okay? Okay. Good. Uh, Chris. Chris, your phone's going off. Chris. Wake up. Whoa, what? Your phone's going off, man. Shit. What the hell? It's Logan. What the hell's he texting in the middle of the night for? What's it about? He wants me to meet him at the front of the campus. Wait. So, who's Logan? A friend. Hey, I gotta go. Oh. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. I gotta sneak out of here. Don't want the other scene that we're... Chris, what does this mean for us? What do you mean? Like, we... We just... What does that make us? I don't know. Something, I guess. All right, I gotta go. Bye. Oh, shit.
Whoa. Austin. Uh, hi. Howdy. Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. Well, love wins, you know. Sure. Anyway, uh, I'm trying to find my roller skates, and, um... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think I saw them on the back balcony. Oh, you did? Yeah. Were they mine or Gabriel's? I don't... <sighs> well, what, what color were they? Uh, red? Well, they're both red. What? Then why do you ask me about the colors? Mine are obviously the ones that are red with blue stripes, dude, because fucking Spider-Man's the shit. Uh, yeah, I think those are the ones I saw. Alright, thanks muchacho. Carry on. <laughs> Busted. It's good to see you again, Laura. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, can you do something for me? What are you doing? Just start talking about all that stuff you've been doing around the school. What is this? An adult video? <laughs> hmm. Alright, I'll play along. Becky's taught me a lot about sex. And where are you doing, ugh, that? I don't know. Becky's been having me practice with drugged up people on the street, like, twice. I've done this whole sex thing about, mm, three times, and it hurts. I hate it, but Becky says it's how I get cool and stuff. And how about at this school? The only person Becky didn't help me with. He was an eighth grader a few days back. That's when I started bleeding and it won't stop. Thank you. Where the hell are you going? As hall monitor of the East Wing, it is my job to take out the trash from this school. What are you even talking about? I'm showing this footage to Principal Lee. Excuse me? Wait! What the fuck is your problem? Peter! Stop following me! Don't tell anyone! I've been putting on band-aids! Don't tell Becky! Please? Get away from me, you freak! Stop, asshole! Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh, God! It's fucking beautiful. I know. I was thinking Harry would have space to run around. He would have brothers and sisters to play with. An extended family. That's what I was thinking. Uh, if you're up to that sort of thing. If growing up in Detroit has taught me anything, it's that family's all you got. As for the house, money isn't really a problem. My mom said she would cover it. She'd help out a lot with the baby. We'd give Harry a better life. That's what I was thinking. Now the DNA test. Hmm. I've been anticipating this all day. Well, we're waiting. <laughs> Come on, what does it say? I suppose I owe you a thank you for... for helping me today. Anytime, sir. I shall try this foreplay. See how it works out. Go get him, cowboy. Cowboy? Didn't she call? Yeah. Don't call me cowboy again, you fucking freak. Sorry, sir. Well, until tomorrow, Thomas. I have to go home and fuck Angelina Jolie and pretend she doesn't look like the blob. Good luck with that. <sighs> Sir, 
Sit back down, Thomas. What? Seven. Seven years ago, my sister-in-law spent her last few months in and out of the hospital. Breast cancer. I'm sorry. The whole thing hit Mallory hard. She and her sister did everything together. Gossip. Vacations. Billy Joel concerts. Nice. The day Mallory's sister passed, we had gotten into an argument. I wanted to hurt her. I wanted to hurt her so bad. So I got in my car, and I prayed. I prayed that the Lord took her sister away from her. Hell. That's where I belong. Mallory got into her head that she wanted to see her sister and blew up my phone, wanting me to take her. I acted like I didn't get a single notification. Mallory did everything with her sister, and I took the last thing they could ever experience together. This guilt you're feeling doesn't go away, Thomas. All you can do is make every day with your wife better than the last. Something I've been lacking in lately. I guess that makes sense. Thanks for the advice, sir. Go get your wife back before it's too late. And Tom. Yeah? You should let me pork your wife for helping you out and all. No can do, sir. Get the hell out of my office. Oh, I got the money in my pocket. But I'm happy so fuck it. Yo, I'm feeling so fine. I'll be I'm gonna go see how Tom's doing. Good luck, Shaniqua. I got you. You got me. <laughs> and here he is. The man of the Maggie, hour. I don't want to be on camera. Excuse me, you piece of shit. This is your... Hello? Hey Maggie, yeah, the video looks great. I actually sent copies to the post office. You what? Okay, I'll be sure to tell Tom that. Thanks, Maggie. Can't wait for you to see it. Good night. Day. The camera is going to be your number one stalker. Look at- <laughs> Logan, what the hell are you doing out here in this rain? Flash died. My partner. He died, Chris. I'm sorry to hear that. Because that was almost me today. I mean, we paid them, we had the money and everything, it was all set. I, I know for a fact we did. Flash is saving me. I, I would have died. Died without experiencing the life. Yeah. I know I... I can't hold this in anymore. I... like you, Chris. <sighs> Shut up, man. I like you. I, I don't know if you do, but if there's any chance, I'd like to give it a shot. Logan, I, I, I can't. Five minutes. I don't want you leaving, Timmy. What? This again? I want you to stay here. Okay. Why? Isn't it obvious? I l like you, Timmy. And I want to continue liking you. So you do like me. Oh, shut up. I'm gonna go get some water. Before I barf.
Hey, we're finishing this conversation when you get back. No, we're not. Morgan? <laughs> Charles, Sydney, what are you guys doing in my house? Morgan? This is an intervention. Why? Morgan, we just want to help you. Listen, Morgan, we know you've been using your dead husband. <laughs> As a sex doll. What? No! Let Alex do the talking, Charles. We're just here to help you, Morgan. Can you start off by saying what we know? Have you been sleeping with your dead husband? I have not been sleeping with Dudley! Jesus! Morgan, sweetie, that is not what we heard from the bedroom. You were loud as hell, babe. You guys were... Oh my god. It's okay, Morgan. We're all friends here. Just think about... Just think about the fact that Alex can't even get it. Charles! That's what I do. You know, I'm giving it to the chicks on a 24-7. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, no. So, Morgan, I was thinking at the end of the week we could... Oh, shit. 